Cracker Jack security force here at the Brotherhood. Well, they didn't expect a Maria Mercurial concert going on now, that's did they? Tr that's true. Their one weakness. In their otherwise All stars. In their one otherwise, in their otherwise flawless defensive perimeter. Night, no, brother Mike. I'm sorry, but today's seminar is over. Father Willie is just answering a few questions before he leaves. Is Lynn Telestrian here? No, Mother Lynn left about 15 minutes ago. Are Mother Lynn and Lynn Telestrian the same person? Yes, of course. But here at the Universal Brotherhood, we are all one family and refer to each other as brother, sister, mother, or father. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I am at Seattle. Okay, it doesn't. It. It. it uh, I need to work on that. Who is Father Willie? Father Willie is truly an inspiration. After years of living in the shadows, he found the light about three years ago and is now a beacon for us to follow here at the Universal Brotherhood. Yeah, an inspiration to us all. Does he pull some weight around here? Or what did Father Willie talk about? Let's let's try to <laughs> let's try to sound respectful. What did Father Willie talk about? It was an inspiring speech about how Universal Brotherhood is working to bring about a future of unity and belonging, order from chaos, a future of truth realized. It's a subject that he and Mother Lynn talk about often. Where is Grandmother Jessica? I am not privileged to know where Grandmother Jessica is, but Father Willie might. I'm done asking questions. Moving along. Oh, this is neat. Look, here's a locked door. There's a locked door, locked door over there. All right, let's see. Father <laughs> Willie, Father Willie Hansen. Whoa. Hmm. That's that's their that's Father Willie. <laughs> He's. Eight, well, he's in a death metal band on weekends, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, he did live in the shadows for That's however true. many years. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that makes Darkness. sense. Darkness. Yeah, he used to be really. He used uh, to be. He used to be really big in the Scandinavian metal scene before he came to see it. Before he came over here. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how that one Metallica song goes. I don't think it goes like that, whatever that noise was. That was a motorcycle. <laughs> All right. Father, Willie, Father Willie's greasy black hair and disturbing tattoos are quite the contrast to the flawless features and exquisite clothes of Lynn Telestrian. He doesn't look the part of a spokesman. You see, you see the adulation in the eyes of those who linger around him just to bask in his presence a moment longer. Apparently, he is a charismatic speaker. Welcome, my friend from the shadows. <laughs> I rejoice to be with you. I, 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 okay, I'm not going to do the voice. See, the shadows, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. We're not friends, or my past does not need to be my future. Let's, let's not try to bullshit him. Let, we won't pretend we're not a runner. My past does not need to be my future. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. It's, it's tempting to keep, just do that all the Perhaps you've already taken the first step. <laughs> Perhaps you've already taken the first steps, my friends. How may I assist you? I'd like to speak to Lynn Telestrian. Many are attracted to the bright light that is Lynn Telestrian, but she cannot see everyone. What business do you have with her? We can, I'm tracking the Emerald City Ripper and she has critical information, or she's going to help me come out of the shadows and into the light. Let's try that. I mean, we're, pre let's try that. I mean, we're, pre we're pretending to be a potential convert, not a, you know, investigator, so. Yeah. Mother Lynn is a beacon that helps many come into the light of the Universal Brotherhood. Unfortunately, she left the building about 15 minutes ago. And there's something weird about the juxtaposition of those two sentences. Just like the lofty spirituality <laughs> of the first sentence and, oh yeah, she left about 15 minutes ago, sorry. You want me to take a message? Or... Okay. I can get your phone number. She can give you a call. <laughs> One of our counselors should could help you join our family. Should you, family, you should seek their counsel. Will that be all, my child? I'm looking for Jessica Watts. May I ask what business you have with Grandmother Watts? She's very busy. I need to talk to her about the Emerald City Ripper. That's none of your business, or I'm working to solve her brother's murder. Hmm, what should we say? That last one seems the most legitimate. Okay, I'm working to solve her brother's murder. Grandmother Jessica has entered the inner sanctum and cannot be disturbed. I must tell you that news of her brother's murder will not change anything for her. 
When we join the Universal Brotherhood, we put our, our birth families behind us and devote ourselves to, belo to belonging to something larger. But that is classic, like, real-life cult practice in a lot of cases. You join a yeah. cult, and then they make you sever your ties with your previous friends and family so that you become completely dependent on the cult. Yeah, there's actually... Um, I read there's this one uh, cult that had everybody turn in their cell phones prior to the meeting, and there's the... Um, a band switch or something that makes it that so that it prevents calls from going out. Okay. No, prevents calls from coming in except for calls on a specific bandwidth. Funny, funny, funny. You should mention that actually. There's something like that going on here. You'll oh. see. You'll see shortly. I know that this. Okay. Um, I know that this seems heartless and it may be hard to understand, but if you speak with one of our counselors, it will all start to make sense. Is that all? Thank you for your time, Father. You are welcome, my son. That's, that, he didn't actually say that. Does that not frighten you that, like, you like somebody is like, oh, let's talk to this person, then it'll all start making sense. <laughs> yeah. Especially if he looks like that. Looks like the maintenance staff has left yeah. their equipment out. Look at the tools. There's a hammer, a number of screwdrivers, and seemingly random collection of screws, nuts, and bolts. Look at the cleaning solvents. Hmm. There's a can labeled kerosene and a can labeled paint solvent. Which should we inhale first? Excellent. I, ooh, take the kerosene can, dip your blank Universal Brotherhood ID card into the paint solvent. Plastic ID card melts into solvent enough to be recognizable as a UB card, but hide that it did not have anything printed on it. All right. That's take a the... very specific level of damage. Flandry's probably done this before. Take the kerosene can. Yeah. Why not? Alright. Mission item added. Small can of kerosene. Hmm. Let's talk to this fellow. As you approach the janitor, he looks up, seeming surprised that you noticed he was there. Noticed that he was here. What do you want? I need a little information. I'm willing to pay for it. Okay, as long as I don't lose my job or anything. How much are you talking about? Don't... let's see here. I don't have time to bargain. I'll pay you 300 new yen right now for you to start... For you start to... There's an oddly large number of typos in this section of the game for some reason. I don't have time to bargain, see? I'll pay you 300 new yen right now for you to start talking. No, don't stop till I tell you to. <laughs> ah, you got a deal. He hands you his credit stick, and you transfer the 300, 300 over. Okay, what do you want to know? Have you seen Jessica Watts around today? Nope, that doesn't mean much. Most of this place is off limits to me. I need a computer terminal. You know where one is? The only computers I've seen in the place are in the office section of the home, behind the staff-only doors. Tell me what areas of this place you have access to. I only have access to the public space which we are in now. A storage room, locker room, and the office. What do you know of the areas you don't have access to? The brothers and sisters live in what's called the home, which which I've heard has the kitchen and dorm rooms. From there I've been told there is a ton of security protecting what the freaks call the inner sanctum, but I've never seen any of that stuff. See, I'm, I want to get into the office, what will your key card cost me? Well, no, I've already got an alter, alternate solution to that. I'm done asking questions. Oh, I can, oh, I can take some food! It's a whole buffet! Oh, nice. It's a variety of sweets, including some red and blue candy. Or maybe I can't take it. Just look at oh, oh, it's just I can just look at it, I guess. Oh. Oh. The warming stove could be used to warm up a plate of food. Melting something. Or maybe start a fire. Put a can of kerosene on the stove. Or, or what let's walk away for now. Maybe <clears throat> maybe setting a fire will come in handy later. The table is covered with snack foods. Okay, well, that door's locked, members only. Big sign that says, fulfill your purpose. You know, maybe, you know, our team is, like, going to be hanging out around the back. Maybe, like, if we start a fire, it would, like, open the emergency exits. Hmm. Sister Wilma. Hello, brother. What can I help you with? I have some questions. 
That's why we are here. <coughs> what are your questions? Do you like it here? I love it being part of the Universal Brotherhood. Belonging helps everyone. We have a free soup kitchen. We have a free soup kitchen. Blah! We have the ability to speak English. And we have a free soup kitchen <laughs> that helps feed hundreds of people every day. Educational talks in our auditorium and a counseling center to help prospective members with one on one therapy. Is there a computer hmm. terminal? Is there a computer terminal I could use? No. We believe it is important to remove mundane distractions from our daily life so we can focus on the truth. Our, our only computers are in the office, and they're off limits to the prospective members. Remember, you, you said that thing about phones? Yeah. You, the, uh, yeah, initiates here are, like, cut off from most contact with the outside world. Hmm. Where is the counseling center? Yeah. Just on the other side of the entrance lobby. My UB home access key card got ruined. Where do I get a new one? Sister Brenda can help you with that. Last I saw her, she was in front of the office door, inside the counseling center. Tell me about the Inner Sanctum. It is a place of great meditation, to which only our senior members, our mothers and fathers, have access. Tell me about the home section of the UB. The home, which is right behind these walls, is where the new brothers and sisters live. Tell me about the sanctuary. There is no sanctuary. <laughs> okay, that, that's from a movie that, that, that was already out before I was even born, so no one's going to get that. Never mind. <laughs> be, behind, behind, behind the home is the sanctuary where our more senior brothers and sisters live. Thanks, I'm going to look around. Truth makes us one. Is that how they say goodbye? I guess. Truth makes us one. Well, I don't remember. It's like it's like in some of the Command and Conquer games, like the Brotherhood of Nod people will greet each other by just saying, like, one people, one purpose. Because it's... <laughs> yeah. that, 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 that's how creepy cults talk, Nick. It's... The... <laughs> they, they just have to, like... They have to, they have to like, sloganize at each other constantly. If you say goodbye to your friends with words other than goodbye, you might be in a cult. Yes. Which, pot, yeah, see if you if there's any, like, bald immortals around you who never seem to age. <laughs> I rejoice to be with you. Or, you know, like the whole, you know, blood-soaked altars that people are tied to screaming. That's also a, a warning. Yeah, Brother that's pretty good. Uh... <clears throat> I rejoice to be with you. How may I help you? Uh. Is this the office door? Yes, but it's off limits to the public. I am a brother, not a member of the public. My key card is not working. You have your old key card. Hand him the melted one. Wow, what happened to this? Long story. Might take a while. I look forward to hearing it one day. Why are you out of uniform? I was working undercover in the Barrens. I was mugged while recruiting in the Barrens. <laughs> let's, let's go with that one. P play the sympathy card. Really, so really sorry to hear that. I'll let you into the office, and you can use a terminal to log in and make yourself a new card. All right. Okay. Here's the office. Your comm link chirps and Coyote appears on the screen. How's it going? Good. I found a way into the off-limits area of the Brotherhood. Jessica's somewhere in here. You, f you find another way in this place? Yeah. Yep. I went down an alley and found a side door near the back. I'll send the coordinates so you can find it. Can you open it yourself? Negative. It only opens from the inside. Okay, stay there. I want to have a look around. When I'm ready, I'll come open the door and let you in. No sweat. Just open the door when you're ready. Okay. Now, here's the office. We're going to learn some troubling things in here, I should mention. Oof. There's some box or something. The cardboard box is labeled UB blank key cards. Let's take one. Yoink. Look at these weird honeycomb symbols on the wall. 